Somebody pray for me. Somebody stayed up all night and begged God to make sure I made money. I was so down, bad headed the worst. I had to look at my dog and that hurts. I kept a G, put my life in a verse. Still can't believe I broke the curse. Look, I, I came from robbing the jack, from trapping the rapping. Ain't nothing that I didn't do. Didn't have no food in my stomach. You know how that feel. We was starving to tell you the truth. I used to steal all my clothes, still got all the hoes. It was crazy, but we made it through. Think I'd be capping on God, I would jack. Go ask the streets, cause they got the proof. I mean, this right here really hunted me for a long time. You know, um, I, I, yeah, I found it difficult to swallow and digest. You know what I'm saying? Um, finding out the last words, some of the last words that my brother said before he died. You know what I'm saying? Um, as y'all know, we was all together maybe like 15 minutes before he died. And that is me, my cousin, Don Terrell Knox, my partner, um, Jason Tilly, Lil J, um, Jane Spencer, who is my little brother, main, main friend, who also um, has passed away too. Um, we was all together at my cousin's house. My brother informed us that we had relatives that was up in the projects who rarely come to the project. So when those relatives come to the project, you know, people tend to come out and, you know, it's a lot in the projects up because of their popularity. So we all, all five of us, um, decided to go ahead and go up there. And you know, this is leading up to my brother death or whatnot. And, um, we was riding and we was listening to Roses Smell Like Boo Boo by Outkast. Big shot out to Andre 3K and Big Boy. But um, me and Don Terrell, you know, Don Terrell the second born grandson. And all out of the 30 some grandkids, uh, his placement is number four. Excuse me. So you had Francis Knox. First born grandchild, she was a female. Then you had Don Trees Knox, myself, first born grand son, second grandchild. Then you had Teresa Knox, um, female granddaughter, third born grandchild. Then you had Don Terrell Knox, um, fourth born grandchild, second grandson. So me and Don Terrell grew up together. You know, our name was the same. You know, by the time we got to be preteens, you know, football, the, the the announcer used to mix our names up. I'll be sitting in the bleachers, not even playing the game, and Don Terrell will run a touchdown. And they'll call my name instead of Don Terrell's name, which, you know, right now today we still have an argument on who touchdown they really are. Because they really mine. They called my name for them. They belong to me, cause. <laughs> so anyway, man. Um, and then you know, as time goes, the rest of the grandkids are dropping. Um, but what happens is, like I said, it's a lot of us. So you have, you know, like we'll say, another load of grandkids drop. You know, three, four of them was born around the same time. Um, after the like the the first four. Which is the first four is me, Francis, but Francis, myself, Teresa, and Dantero. So we'll say when the next four or five drop, because my grandmother had eight kids. She had five girls, three boys. So when the next kids, load of grandkids drop, my brother Tremaine wasn't in that load either because he's a lot younger. You know what I'm saying? So then I think after that, my brothers fall into those grandkids right there. So with that being said, it's a lot of space between me and my little brother. Not that much, but a, a good little bit of space. And with that being said, by the time my brother is born and he's, a, let's just say he's an infant now, me and Don Terry Don had four to six years together playing um, 
you know, like as brother cousins, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we had the the joy um, of um, growing up up under my uncle Bobby Knox Jr., which everybody know as Buddy, which is Don Terrell's father. And growing up under him, we we um, learned music, we learned rhythm, we we learned how to dance by watching him. So me and Don Terrell have that dance fever bug, just like his father and and my uncle um, Bobby Knox. Junior, where when you hear good music, it makes you move no matter what. So we we grew up with that. You know what I'm saying? By the time my my um brother got up and you no know, got around my uncle Buddy, you know what I'm saying? He was still into music. My uncle loved music, and my family loved music. But he, you know, um, mainly getting at the but one move from from my, my uncle Buddy, and when we got five moves, you know what I'm saying? With the end of the wave that slapped you in the back of the head. <laughs> so, so y'all remember that? Your uncle be dancing, pow! They slap you in the back of the head. But, um, so, uh, with that being said, me and Dan Terra was a lot closer and did more things together because we had more time on earth together. You know what I'm saying? With us being um, the first and second born grandchild, um, sons. So on that way up to the projects before my brother died, he noticed that we was dancing and carrying on and laughing at that red light with them right behind us because they was following us to the projects. And at this time we were like, maybe like two, two, um, minutes from the projects. You know what I'm saying? And um, we stopped at the red light. Music is playing. And we just started dancing and grooving. And, you know, not really paying attention to who's watching us. Not even caring who's watching us. But my brother was watching so, us. So, on the way up to the project that day. You no, know, like I said, once we get to the red light. We're like two minutes away from the project. And we get to the red light on Main Street, College Park. And the music you playing, outcast, bro, smell like boo boo, and we just jamming, you know, just just jamming to it, really dancing in the car, and we're not really caring who's watching us, uh, really, you know, paying attention who's watching us. But my brother and James Spencer is right behind us, and my brother is watching us, and my brother looks over at James and he says to him as he's watching me and Don Terrell dance. He said, man, you see how close they, they are? And they're just cousins. You know, extenuating that, like, they that close. And they just cousins, man, with me and Don Treese. We're not his brother. You know, that's where he was going with that. And before James died, James had let, you know, let us know what man was talking about in the car. And, and that's what, one of the things that he said, man. And that really, like, ate me up inside mentally for, like, two years, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I was, you know, I, you know, it, it, it made me sad. My brother was gone. I couldn't tell him that, you know, we are close. Or I, I couldn't say anything to him. You know what I'm saying? To, to ensure him that my love was just a... Same as him for my cousin, for our cousin. You know what I'm saying? So that hunted me a long time, man. But, you know, it, it took me years. I said maybe like six years after his death to really swallow that up and look at it for what it was. And what it was is just time. You know what I'm saying? Me and my brother had, you know, a few years in between us. And in those few years, you know, we had a cousin that, was closer to my age and you know we did things together more i was our name was similar because our aunt my mama oldest sister scholar godfrey knox she named us and um and and whew. yeah but yeah it stuck with me for a long time man because you know i just i was just feeling guilty you know it was it was on me and you know and and I, I just couldn't say anything to him. That was my biggest thing. I couldn't say anything to him because, of course, he's gone now. 
But I knew after about five or six years that it wasn't that we wasn't close like that because we were actually closer. You know, that's my brother and my, you know, my sibling. We grew up in the house together. So, you know, me and my cousin Don Terry was close as in time. And we spent more time together. But as far as sibling close, you know, nobody can get as close as me, my brother, and my sister Shantara's now. So me, Tremaine, now, since Shantara's now, it's like we're, you know, like the siblings of my mother. That's what I'm you know, speaking of. You can't get no closer than that, man. But that was something that stuck with me for a long time, man. Like I said, man, it took a lot for me to get over that. But, you know, thank y'all for tuning in. I want to hear y'all opinion on that, man. Um, Underground Source TV with your host, a.k.a. TV film producer, Dontree Knox. Black Boy 3700, Color Paul Stand Up. He say he knew me. I don't even know you can't hit the doobie. It gotta be in, out on you. I'm straight out the gut, I'm straight out the corner. I ran it up cause they love the persona. I'm sliding through cause I'm alone. Remember them nights we was on them flights, staying down every day. We up in the cut, all we had was us. We was trying to bust a play. Look, I went from penny pitch and now I'm having. I got my own bag, I ain't flagging. This ain't just me, this a higher power. Been having motion, the streets been out. So, so good, yeah. So good, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember them days trying to get paid. We was hungry than a bitch. Switch on your brothers, don't fuck with no others, don't let another nigga diss. Ray Ray got the nines, AC got the Drake, neither one of them gon' miss.